Oh no, stop, oh no. It is episode 60. Welcome Fuck. to episode 60. Well, I'm here with episodes, it's going to be 69. What? Nine more episodes from this, and it's going to be 69. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got some bad experiences with 69. Like what? Like when I like uh I needed a hundred to pass on my maths test, I only got sixty nine uh Oh. Oh, right, I thought you meant like um the other the other way. D anyway Oh yeah dreams? Yeah, we're gonna we're doing a dream app. This is Kieran and I a, doing a dream app. We're doing another dream app. So uh snuggle in tight, stick on your best headphones and Enjoy this one. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't right, read a dream. That's what, okay. So you got you got any dreams, Karen? That you want to read? I I have not many dreams because I very rarely dream. But in the the first the first first like dream I had since the dream thing being a thing, uh, I dreamt three times. So oh, okay. I'm only gonna read one dream and then I'll pass it over to you to get your thoughts on this dream. This was a. Uh, the third of oh, do we say the dates? I haven't seen yeah, these before. Yeah, uh, date, uh, time. If you uh, t date and time, if possible, and <laughs> then uh, and then just go for it. Okay. Well, this third of October, twenty twenty one. Okay. Uh, but I logged it at one oh nine. Oh, this was on a Sunday, which is quite understandable. Uh, so you woke up at uh, p.m. one oh nine p.m. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's that's standard for Sundays. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, I went to bed, and I fell asleep facing the wall, and then I woke up, but I didn't actually wake up because I was in a dream, but I thought I woke up, and I was still in bed, and I saw this big, like, massive shadow of a spider, and it was, like, the size of my hand, so I just, like, rushed up, and I got out of bed, and then it woke me up, because I thought I got out of bed, but I wasn't. And I grabbed my phone and turned my my light on to see if there was a spider there, but it wasn't. So it was like a, it was a dream inception because it felt like I was awake, but it wasn't. Right. And then me getting up out of bed woke me up. Yes, I remember you. I just forgot you can't see me, but I remember <laughs> you were t telling me about this dream. Well, not t I remember reading that dream. I remember that because it that was before that this what that you logged that before I had any intention of. Reading dreams on the podcast, so I just read everyone's dreams willy nilly. I mean, so I do this remember that the one. Podcast at all? What? Were you doing the podcast in 2021? No, I started uh, at the beginning oh. of 2022. I was gonna fucking say it's like, holy shit, that's gone so by quickly. Actually, the ne the next episode, I believe the next episode after this one is the uh, year, uh, one uh, year, one one year. Oh of shit! Podcast. What? I got a question though about. Your dream. How? Yeah. When it? When you get the uh, spy? When you have? Do you get back to sleep easily because it's scary? Um, I think this one in this case, I don't think it bothered me that much because I kind of figured out it was a dream. I was like, oh okay. But like in some cases, if I have like a really scary dream that kind of wakes me up like instantly, it takes me a while to to get back in relax mode and the uh, sleep mode. Did you go back to sleep at one p.m.? Uh, <laughs> no, I think that's just when I typed this. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I think I typed all three of these dreams once I initially woke up fully. But, okay. uh, I think what I, 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 I've started doing, sorry, I'm sidetracking, but I don't care. <gasps> uh, I, uh. I have a, a notepad, so if I wake up in the middle of the night and I have a dream and I don't want to forget all the details, I'll sleepily type the details of the dream in the OneNote, and then in the morning, when I'm supposed to be working, I'll type out it properly with all of the actual words spelling how they should. You know, I do the exact same... That's my exact same system that I have. Wait, you use OneNote? Um, I do use OneNote. Uh, but not for actually. Look, I have a different note on my thing, but I, I, yeah, I write down a few like bullet points of like, you know, shit, piss, yeah, ate shit, suck dick, and then I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh, I dream. remember. This is reminding me, and then I'll write it down properly. 
Uh, okay. I guess I, I, I kind of try and type it out fully, because if I write down bullet points, it probably won't make sense to me in the morning. So I try and write out the full thing. Oh, really? So <laughs> in the end, it just kind of looks like a load of letters put together, but it's like, oh, I can pull that word and that word, and then it kind of will make sense again. I see. Well, I, I, I guess it's different then. I guess, well, well, I guess it is different then, Kieran. We have our, our different systems, but <sighs> they kind of intercollide with each other. Well, I got a dream. I got a dream. Can I read what it? Is your, what is your fucking dream? Oh, do, do you want to um, do you want to also mark that one as red in whatever uh, way well, you read it? Yeah, I can. I can do that because I did it separately. God, I'm so clever. Uh, Microphone. Yeah, that's what I do. I use um, well, actually, Microphone. I don't because I I I'm not reading from the Discord. I'm reading from when I type them up from the Discord into a little book. There's written. A oh bit yeah, your dream book. You write in dream book. Yeah, it's hey, just what was, better. What was your fucking... Uh, what was your dream? Was okay, your dream? this one is... I'm up to the 25th of November 2021. And this was logged at 8.08am. And here we go, I'm going to read it. Read the book. Read, read the book. Oh. Read the I was staying read the book. over my old friend Amy's house, who lives just down the road for a sleepover. And there's some real life information. In real life, I haven't met Amy in 10 plus years and haven't been friends for longer. So this is a little extra... So ba basically, it, uh, just a... I don't know if I was a kid in my dream. I probably was. Anyway, I'm gonna... Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna read this. I was waiting for my girlfriend, Ella, to show up at the house. While waiting, Amy's mum says, Hey, I'll show you to your room. I guess this is because I was staying the night, and Ella was going going to have our own. Ella and Ella, and Ella were going and uh, were uh, and. <laughs> what the beba, fuck? Beba, 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 beba. Ella and I. What the fuck? <laughs> this is shit. I hate. I, oh my god! I thought I proofed this. Ella and I were going to have our own room to sleep in. As soon as Amy's mum said this, she walked away and then out the front door. And left to, to go party. What the hell? Agitated, I went looking for the room myself. But every room in the house seemed to already be occupied. Luckily, I found my mum. I told her, Hey, I'm gonna leave. But when Ella shows up, tell her to meet me at our house. No, Oliver. We've been invited over and you have to stay. <laughs> this pissed me off even more. Then, as if to add insult to injury... Amy found me and ropes me into fixing some fucking bullshit gate outside. Whilst I fixed the gate, she started touching and rubbing my back, which made me feel real uncomfortable. After not too long of that, I just said, fuck this, and I left and walked home. And I had some real life information. I, I then had another dream uh, uh, right after this one, without waking up, though I can't remember any of it. This, just, to, just to log that. Huh. We're going going off the the anger part, right? Yeah. Do, do you, if you dream angry and then wake up, do you still then feel angry? I think I woke. I I, do, I can't really remember, but I think I woke up from that one relieved, just because there was so much shit going. Like my mum was saying, like, oh, they can't go home. The uh, Amy's mum was like, oh, you can't. You you uh, the whole you can't do either your room all that. And Amy was like, rub my my back and shit. And try and get me to fix the gate, and the, and Ella wasn't showing up either. The whole the whole dream was fucked. And then when I wake up and I realize, I probably went back to sleep because I was relieved. So I think I probably woke up relieved from that one. Okay. What, what a, about you? Uh, if you're angry, I ha I've had past experience before the dream server, uh, where I'd have like a dream where I was like arguing with my parents more than likely, and it would get me like so angry. And then I'd wake up, and I'd still feel angry. It's like, I know it was a dream, but fuck you. Yeah. No, I, I and definitely that. And then I'd struggle getting back to sleep because I was so angry. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you, have you dreamt to, have you logged a dream where you argue with your parents? I think I have. I, I don't think I have. I, I, I know you have. I've definitely read one where you've <laughs> argued with your dad or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No. 
I don't give a shit. Are you, are you yeah, currently I... looking through to find a dream where you argue with your yeah, parents? Yeah, I don't think I have. Because you only dream, like, once every couple months, or once a month. Yeah. It's very, very rare that I dream. Do you know that you probably do dream, like, six times a night? It's just you can't remember it? See, I want to remember it, though. How can I, how can I improve my dream remembering skill and talent well i haven't logged a dream in maybe half a week maybe approaching a week now because i um i've been so tired so when i wake up usually when i wake up in the night i would have enough energy to like write it down a few bullet points about what it was so i remember in the morning but okay. recently i think because i've been so tired i've just been like i just don't give a shit and i go right back to sleep so I'd, i think Maybe not being as tired can help, maybe? And also, um, I know that if you let yourself naturally wake up, you're less likely to remember your dream. Um, See, that very rarely happens because I have to have an alarm to make me wake up. Like, I had to set an alarm before this to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's very rare that I can just naturally wake up. So I, think I have that's noticed a very key part of the problem. Yeah, you're always Otherwise, sleeping. Every, every, yeah, <laughs> you're always sleeping. <laughs> I'm always asleep. Like we could be on a bus, on a plane, in a car, and I would be fucking asleep. You'd be fucking in your sleep. I would be fucking in my sleep. Oh, I, <gasps> speaking of dreams. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Before, before wait. this, just give me a second. Oh. Ooh, ooh, that was a crisp one. Okay, sorry, yeah, go, go ahead. Speaking of fucking in- I have a dream, I know, I definitely have a dream where I fucked in dream. Holy shit. I definitely had a sex dream. Hey, but, is, that, is that what you're gonna read next, or are you gonna uh, save it? No, I'm gonna save it until we, we get there. I mean, I'm still gonna stick to the in order one. Okay, okay. From this, the three dreams last night one. So, uh... Oh shit, I didn't actually finish the end of Dream 1. I basically checked under my pillows and there was nothing and I went back to bed and then I fell back asleep, but this time facing the ceiling. And then Dream 2. Okay, I this is from up. the same night? Yeah, this is from the same night. So this, oh, is okay. very, this was very unusual because this is obviously when you started the Dream server. Right. So it was very weird. I, was like, I woke up again in Dream 2, struggling to breathe. I felt movement underneath my neck. Like, the spider had bit, bit my neck, and I was struggling to breathe. I woke up again, and I sat up. And then this dream was exactly an hour after the first one. So I got really, really paranoid, doubting if it was actually real or not. So I watched a funny couple of YouTube videos to clear my head of any horror shit I was watching the previous day, which is very likely. And then I went back to bed, and then I had dream number three. Oh, okay. So, so you, you you had to watch shit in the middle of the night to get the air out of your head? Yeah, because I, I obviously thought I must have been watching something right. to implement, in, implement the spider or like struggling to breathe or some shit like that before I went to bed to get that stuck in my head. Like, it's not uncommon for me to watch some really scary shit before bed, but... I think it was really weird and, like, very coincidental that you set up a dream server that same day and then I had three dreams yeah. in the same night. It was very, very weird. Um, but the third dream was, uh... It's very... It wasn't spider-related. Do you want me to just go ahead and yeah, do yeah, the yeah. third dream? It just don't get this out of the way. Okay. So, uh... I woke up in like a space uniform on a spaceship and some other guy was there. I didn't recognize him nor did we even speak to each other. We ended up walking around and ended up in a room filled with these big clear containers with like green fluid in them. They seemed to have like these dog creatures in them. Then, then one container at the back of the room was smashed. Green fluid on the floor and the creature inside was gone. I turned back to the other guy and he was just kind of staring at me. Ooh. I somehow began losing <coughs> feeling in my legs. Oh. So I looked down and loads of 
loads of like little dog creatures was eating my legs in like the most glorious way imaginable. Then I woke up, literally struggled to breathe, and then I called Chorney for reassurance because that was the third dream in like the past three hours and I was losing it. God damn. Wait, so you couldn't breathe in your sleep? Yeah, that that was the the worst part. Did you wake up and feel breathless? Uh, yes. I was like, like, you know, you kept trying to gasp for air, but obviously the air is there. <laughs> <laughs> These keep just popping out of nowhere. Do you think that it was from panic, or do you think you have like some breathing difficulty? Because I know I have breathing difficulties when I sleep. I think I think it was just panic because obviously I very rarely dream, and then for me to dream three times in a row. Oh. It it was it was it was kind of scary. Okay, god damn. It, yeah, I it, mean, it, it just kind of it kind of it was just really weird to me that you set the fucking server up and then like I had three dreams that same night. Yeah, three dreams would be unusual even for me. So I can't imagine like as someone who doesn't really dream. That yeah. Would be a little odd. It was it was it was very bizarre. But, okay. Yeah. Well, well, good. Good that you read now. I read mine. Yeah. Sorry, I just gotta pick my nose for a sec. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm reading the right one. Okay, this one is on the this is on the 26th of November, 2021, at 11:35 a.m. So here's the dream. Oh, I, I actually kind of, this dream's kind of funny actually. I like dreams where there's celebrities because it because like usually when I like the last dream I read I was like talking about Amy. And talking about my mom, and talking about Amy's mom, and talking about Ella, and to- all these people I know. But, like, the, you know, the average viewer might not really uh, have much attachment to a dream that involves just things that are in my head and in my life. But this one is a dream which actually someone might actually not be bored out of their mind listening to. <laughs> um, and I'll, I, you'll see why. I went to a big gym with multiple stories. While I was walking around, deciding what exercise I was to do, I saw Trisha Paytas. I introduced myself, and we got to talking. Huh? Who's Trisha? Oh, you don't know who Trisha Paytas is? She's um, she's a YouTuber who you might recognize her. No. She's a she's a YouTuber, who um. She she like starts drama and shit. Maybe I should have put this in the in the book, like, like uh, to explain who Trisha is. But just put in a channel URL. <laughs> search it in. Yeah, in the book. <laughs> That's actually a funny idea. <laughs> but yeah, she she does. She's like, uh, she's pretty deranged. She like abused her boyfriend, and now she has a kid. And uh, oh yeah, that, that that's something funny that. Cool. Uh, anyway. Um, but yeah, she starts drama and shit and cries a lot. Um, I saw Trisha Paytas. I introduced myself and we got to talking about her two daughters she had brought with her. And that was some real life information. In real life, she didn't have any children as of writing this dream. However, two and a half months later, on the 14th of February 2022, she would announce she was pregnant. Then seven months later, on the 14th of September 2022, she would give birth. Yep, I predicted that shit, motherfucker. What now back, the fuck? Now back to the dream. While Trisha and I had a casual conversation, she'd keep taking jabs, making fun of, and putting down one of her daughters in particular, in regards to her weight. This was despite the fact they were both very skinny and the same height. Then a guy she, uh, who worked at the gym, who Trisha clearly knew from how they would, how they talked came over and asked Trisha if he could weigh her children. We went over to the weighing room, and the guy got the girls on the scales, one after the other. Afterwards, the guy confirmed that the girl Trisha had been making fun of the entire time was in fact overweight. What? I think to myself. Then I realized that Trisha Paytas and this gym guy must have been in cahoots to gaslight Trisha's daughter. Okay, I scrolled down a little bit. Throughout this whole ordeal, the two daughters seem to take everything in their stride. A reason that this must be because uh, this is all. Uh, this is all. Uh, this is all was just this. Oh, uh, fuck you. This all. 
This, this, all this was all. just a common occurrence because uh, being the daughters of Trisha Paytas. That's that's a dream. So fat babies. They're pre- you, they were they were, you, you. they were skinny, but the Trisha was being Trisha was gaslighting one of them for some reason. Imagine being gaslit by your own mum. <laughs> Imagine so, uh, her, uh, your mum farting on you and then lighting you on fire. <laughs> Imagine your mum throwing scissors at you. I can't imagine that. Can you imagine that? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I feel like the, <laughs> the conversations that we have in between reading dreams are probably better than the dreams and stuff. I'm starting to realize maybe this whole dream reading thing is like... <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, they spark out these these conversations in between, so it keeps the viewer engaged. That's true. That's true. Okay. That's fine. We'll keep going. I'm like, this is... Ep- viewer, viewer engagement and that shit. I think this is dream episode seven, so it hasn't been a complete waste. We, like, we can keep going, I guess. Do you, do you have a dream? Do you have a, dr- a uh, dream that you want to read? I do have a dream. I do have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream, right? But okay. it's, this is a very small Bobby dream. Okay. This was on Saturday the 16th of October. This was logged at 2.53 in the afternoon. Oh my god. I had a dream. Wait, so uh, is that when you woke up? Most likely. <laughs> uh... I had a dream I was being shouted at by my dad to get ready for work, and I woke up shouting. So I apologized if I woke anyone up with my waking up shouting slash sleep talking. Did, did, were you shouting, IRL? Um, possibly. I can't remember. It, this, this was like two years ago, so my memory's a little sketchy. Okay. But uh, yeah, it is actually a while ago. Yeah. It it's weird to to think you can like be in a dream like it sounds like someone shouting at you in real life because obviously you've got your eyes closed and in the dream you've got your eyes closed and you can just hear someone shouting at you. So it's like okay, I'm getting up and then you actually like get up and then it's like shit, it's like three o'clock in the morning or like what the fuck, yeah. Oh oh. Three was this three a.m. No, 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 no. This is this is when I put it in the chat, but it's most likely I did it at night, and then I right. went back to sleep, and then I logged in the morning. Well, here's a dream that I will eventually get round to it after a, reading a year's worth of dreams. But recently, I um I had a dream that it it was awful. I I I basically was dying in my dream, and I was going oh fuck how about it in my sleep. And then what the fuck? <laughs> my, my mom came in like, hey, you okay? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Jesus. And I did, I, that was like the 10 minutes of sleep I got that night. I was like, oh, I'm not going back to sleep. Fuck that. Bro, what are you eating? Yep. A biscuit. Yep. Holy shit. Dude, I fucking love biscuits. That, that looks like a good biscuit. Hmm. Well, um, I was thinking of keeping the dream apps short where, here and where I can. Uh, instead of reading dreams for a whole hour. So may- maybe uh, we go on comments? Yeah. Shit. I was getting comments up. Okay. Are, are, you, uh, are, you, are you good for book- bookmark to where you'll need to... The next dream you'll need to read? On the, on yes. The, on the, on the, on the, uh, did the little microphone icon. Okay. Okay. okay I just, Holy shit. We do not have a lot of comments. No. We, we don't get that many comments anymore. Oh, but... We got like an import, leave important. Leave comments. One. Fuck you. Leave comments. Yeah, her thoughts. Just don't. Eat, don't. Doesn't have to be a big one. Uh, it just had. Maybe just copy and paste. Her thoughts. Just copy and paste like uh, a couple of your favorite poems. How about that? Um, Magic Pants um, uh, says thumbnail sucks. Yeah, Ella really did a, a bad job on that. Um, that last yeah, thumbnail. Yeah, the, the left. The left half. Of the thumbnail was a load of shit. What the fuck? No, no, the left half's pretty good. I think no, I, the right half sucks. No, the left half is a load of shit. What the fuck? No, no, no. Uh, no, the, the the top half is a load of shit. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. No, actually, yeah, you're right. The top half is pretty bad. Mm, um, yeah. her force comments. Her force was here. I think her force noped out of watching that one. It was two and a half hours, so I don't blame you. Holy shit! 
I mean, that's kind of the length of Avatar 2, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it had to be, we had to do the review right. Um, yeah, you had to watch the entire movie on, <laughs> on a podcast. Yeah, if anyone wants to watch that podcast, it's just Avatar 2. Just <laughs> but we describe it. Um, vegetable soup might suck, but spicy vegetable soup is amazing. That's from uh, Frost Drive, also known as Alexis. That's pretty cool. I, I, See, I'll try that. I'm not a fan of... Um vegetable soup i'm more of a tomato soup kind of person like if you had the choice between tomato ki- chick ki- chicken or vegetable what would you pick um with like a I, I nice guess... like crunchy tiger loaf bread like oh yeah tomato tomato because it's like yeah. acidic it you know it's good but i think Tom- tomato is good yeah my favorite bread is gonna have to be oh no my favorite soup ever is gonna like at the moment probably gonna have to be cabbage soup believe it or not cabbage oh I can't my mom say makes I'm a, a good cabbage soup f- i can't say i'm a massive fan of cabbage um i'm not either but it's it blended up with some spices hey i got another comment you got what uh her force commented on my uh, episode three of the fallout 4 let's play 814 oh. <laughs> You are absolutely correct. Saying I love you in mixed company always makes me go off prematurely. I hope that the baby isn't scarred for life. 828. So much for the nuclear family. Because in Fallout 4, uh, a nuke bomb drops. And a a nuclear nuclear bomb... uh, Anyway, Herfalls explains here. I was making a satirically witty and absolutely brilliant metaphorical remark, merging the concepts of the nuclear family with nuclear warfare, in order to create a 50 megaton punchline before you messed with my guidance system. That's because I questioned what the what he was saying. And totally neutralized my proximity warhead, thus imploding what was to be the boom boom joke heard around the world with an in 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 pen in in. in and a tr- impenetrable cobalt casing while reducing it into a lady finger d- dud. For this crime against humor- humority, that's pretty good, you shall be reported to the UN for convers- conversion therapy by Greta Thunberg and thus be reported to all establishments that one can be reported to and never again question her thoughts humor and may God have mercy upon your soul. Thoughts? Uh. Yes. Okay, we got one minute until the camera goes out. We'll get it. We'll get it in. Leg comments true, and that he, uh, she commented that on. Uh, Ron points at Alexis. Um, that's the last comment. Fuck. Where are you seeing the? Oh wait, I guess you have notifications, so you can see them all. Yeah. To final thoughts, we got uh, 35 seconds. What, what do you want to say? Um, final thoughts. Um, shit. Don't you think, like, you know you get the sets of biscuits at Christmas? Don't you okay, think 20, they taste 20 seconds. nicer? Okay, yeah. don't, you, don't you think they taste nicer than normal store-bought biscuits? Don't they taste nicer? <laughs> I don't like biscuits, particularly. I like cookies. What? How do you not like biscuits? I, I don't know, they, they're... No, shut up! Another story, do you remember that time you turned up at my house and you was like, here, cookie, and then just left? I did do that. I you think did you got that. do that! I think you got that in. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop this recording. That's pretty awesome that you got that in.